Korea's railways have played a pivotal role in the economic growth and balanced development of Korea. It has become a crucial component in the rapid progress of Korea for over 100 years. Although most Korean rail infrastructures were left in ruins after the Korean War, it took Korea only 20 years to recover railway through the concerted efforts of its people. During the rapid industrialization of Korea in the 1970s, we built industrial railways linking industrial resources with production sites. In the 1980s, we concentrated our efforts on enhancing speed and capacity of rail transports by replacing wooden sleepers with precast concrete sleepers and introducing push and pull power cars. Year 2004 marked a new era in the history of Korean railways with opening of the first high-speed rail after 20 years of tenacious efforts began in early 1980s. In 2015, Honam High Speed Rail. In addition, Suso HSR was opened in 2017, and the establishment of SR introduced a second operating company in Korea's railway industry. The opening of the Kangnung High Speed Rail between Incheon International Airport and Pyeongchang for the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. These HSR lines brought Korea together into a single day of travels. Thanks to these efforts, Korea's rail transport modal share sharply rose from 1% in 1974 to 38% today. A third national railway network plan will expand the existing networks and reduce the commute time in metropolitan areas to under 30 minutes by 2025, which will help solve the polarization of commuting times between urban and regional areas. Railways are punctual and fast, economical and environmentally friendly, and are the safest method of transportation. Punctual and quick arrival of railway change the lifestyles of many people. While energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions are a mere 11% and 17% of automobiles, the major cause of climate change and air pollution. The rate of road traffic accidents is less than 0.1%, reducing the social costs of transportation even further. <laughs>